this channel, I'll be talking about whatever I fucking want. So, in the Warner Bros. Discovery era, as you probably don't know, on Monday, April 24, CNN fired Don Lemon. Don Lemon is one of my favorite news anchors on TV, and CNN had him for 17 years. But now he was absolutely fired from his favorite job without any notice. Don Lemon says that he was informed this morning by his agent that he has been terminated by CNN. I am stunned. After 17 years at CNN, I would have thought someone in management would have had the decency to tell me directly. At no time I was ever given any indication that I would not be able to continue to do the work I have loved at the network. It is clear that there are some larger issues at play. With that said, I want to thank my colleagues and the many teams I have worked with for an incredible run. They are the most talented journalists in the business, and I wish them all the best. And, you know, I felt disappointed that this happened, given the fact that Don Lemon is a great black journalist. I respect CNN and Don Lemon equally, and never would have thought that this would happen to him, given that I have watched him for a few years now. I wish that the cable news network kept him longer and ignored all the baseless rumors. CNN, meanwhile, has said that they and Don Lemon have parted ways. Don Lemon will be, will forever be a part of the CNN family, and we thank him for his contributions over the past 17 years. We wish him well and will be cheering him on his future endeavors. And that's exactly what I thought CNN would just leave it there and move on. But no. Because CNN says 39 minutes later that Don Lemon's statements about this morning's events is inaccurate. He was offered an opportunity to meet with management, but instead released his statement on Twitter. So essentially, CNN found out about Don Lemon's statement after putting out their statement on about Don Lemon on Twitter. And I just think that maybe CNN could have put out their statement much earlier before Don Lemon did because his led to me to believe this led me to believe that CNN didn't do it when they in fact did gave Don Lemon an offer to meet the CNN management so maybe Don Lemon should have waited for CNN to put out their statement first before he could I'm very perplexed about this right now because I like Don Lemon as much as other CNN viewers who have watched him longer than I have. And I also like CNN. I originally watched it back then in 2000 when the great Larry King was on CNN and then in 2006 when Larry King retired. So this was something that happened out of nowhere for no reason, and there are many baseless rumors that people have pointed out that have no merit whatsoever as to why Dumlin might have been fired. And I'll just say that his journalistic integrity by calling out Biak Rami for lying about black people is not the reason for seeing and firing Don Lemon nor were his so-called sexist comments and not the so-called misogyny allegations. The only re real reason for CNN firing Don Lemon has not at all come to fruition. 
So everything heard right at this moment earlier this week was just pure speculation. I respect CNN's decision for doing whatever is right for them, but this was the worst decision that Chris Litt could have made to fire Dot Lemon out of nowhere without giving him the real explanation as to why he was fired for. I'm very disappointed that CNN didn't keep him longer as they should have been doing because if you're going to fire somebody who has been here for years, you should at least give an actual reason for why he was fired by saying the reason why we're firing somebody is because that person made some comments we didn't like about it. And that would have been it. So that no one needed to speculate anything. I just see the speculation that many people have made about Dumbledore's firing. And I wish CNN could have just been a little bit, a little more honest about this when writing a statement. However, I hope Don Lemon decides whatever he's doing in his chapter is greatly appreciated. I wish him well, and hopefully his retirement doesn't come too soon.